Hi everyone, welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In our first video, we talked about what is Notion and how to get started. Today, it will be all about widgets, including free widgets and how to add them. First of all, what are widgets? Widgets are small applications that you can embed with many different uses. You can use these widgets to show the weather, show the time, live progress bar, create a countdown, special quotes, or even place aesthetic GIFs to make the page your own. Widgets can help make the page uniquely yours and make your workspace lively to motivate you to use your Notion workspace even more. So how to add widgets? There are three main ways to add widgets to Notion. This includes a simple embed, creating a unique link to embed, and using HTML code to embed. We'll first go over the simple embed, which is the simplest way to add widgets. This method applies to widgets that don't need any customization. Let's try embedding a Pomodoro timer to show how to do a simple embed. On any Notion page, just type slash embed and paste in the link. An example of this widget style is the Pomodoro timer from studywithme.io. We'll put the link in the description below. Make sure to resize it so it fits the page well. Another great place to find simple embed widgets is from giphy.com. We also put the link in the description below. It adds a super nice touch to any Notion page. We recommend hand-drawn style GIFs. Let's find a nice GIF for our page. First, we'll go to giphy.com and type a search word. All we have to do is click share and copy the GIF link. Then, we'll put the GIF as a simple embed in our Notion page. One of the top free widget link creation sites is indify.co. We will include the link in the description below. You'll need to design the widget and get a unique link to use the widget. When you first go to indify.co, you'll need to create an account. Let's try making a weather widget. Click add new widget. On the left hand side, you can choose the location, preferred units, number of days, and a bunch of other style options. Then we just need to go to copy link and embed to our Notion page. Another great widget creation site is called Widget Box. We'll include the link for this in the description. Unfortunately, it is quite limited in the free plan, but you can enjoy some aspects for free. We especially like their clock widget for its aesthetic look. Let's create the digital retro clock widget. You can change the color, text color, and border radius. Once you're happy with the color, just click copy and paste the link as an embed into your Notion page. The final type of Notion widget is one which is an HTML code. This is a bit more complicated because you have to transform the code into a link. 
For example, you can take the code for a countdown timer from option.co. We'll include the link for this widget in the description. You'll now have to edit the code as needed and described in the tutorial. The problem with this method is that the HTML code needs to be saved as a link so you can embed it. You'll have to use a site like www.htmlsave.com, which we'll also include as a link in the description. This site can make the HTML into a link. Some of these require a paid plan to be able to create multiple and permanent links. Here's a sample of what this particular countdown widget looks like. Now that we've gone through some ways to add widgets and some free widget options, be sure to check out our list of 10 best Notion widgets. We'll put the link to our article in the description below. This article includes free widgets like Google Maps, Spotify, Quotes, and more. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Subscribe us for more productivity and organization related videos. See you in the next one.